Encryption is the process of starting with a message that I want to send and transforming that message in some way so that it is impossible for someone who might handle the message or might intercept the message to understand the contents. However, I still have to make sure that the message once it receives its destination can be decrypted. So you can think of encryption as involving two types of transformation. There is encrypting a message and decrypting a message. The original form of encryption that goes back thousands of years is something that's called symmetric key encryption. And the opposite or the, the contrast of symmetric key encryption, asymmetric key encryption, was actually not known until the 1960s. So this is what people use for you know, basically all the way back into antiquity. And how does symmetric key encryption work? So for symmetric key encryption, the trick is that there is a single key that is used by Alice and Bob to both encrypt and decrypt messages. So when Alice wants to send a message to Bob, she takes the original message and she encrypts it using some key and she gets the encrypted message. So we'll call the encrypted message E. So she encrypts the message using this key K and sends it to Bob. And if the encryption is strong and the encryption is infective, then anyone who um, can, over, can eavesdrop on this conversation and could capture this message E cannot recover the original message contents. That's the goal. Now, depending on the key that's used and the type of encryption that I'm using, in certain cases that encryption could be very, very strong and practically unbreakable. In other cases, it can be very, very weak. Um, so the, so the, really the, the type of encryption matters and the key matters. But the distinction that we want to draw with symmetric key encryption is when Bob receives the message, so she's going to transmit this message E to Bob. When Bob receives the message, he performs a transform to recover the original contents. And the transform, the decryption process that he performs also uses the same key K. So symmetric key encryption uses the same key to encrypt a message before it's transmitted over an insecure channel or has to be handled by people that I don't trust, and uses the same key to decrypt that message once it arrives. That's why we call it symmetric key. It's a single key. In certain cases, it's not a single key, but the keys are related to each other. So I can derive the decryption key from the encryption key or vice versa. But the, the real thing that's important here is that there's a single key that Alice and Bob have to agree on before they begin to communicate with each other. Now you might ask, how do I do that? And that's a good question, and that's something that's uh, tricky and something that uh, requires some extra work. But you can imagine if Alice and Bob start this process having agreed on an encryption scheme and on an encryption key K, then Alice encrypts her message to, uh, the, sometimes we call this the ciphertext. Um, this is the plain text, this is the ciphertext. She sends the ciphertext to Bob. Bob can decrypt the ciphertext E to recover the plain text M using the same key K. Now, why am I doing this? Well, the reason I'm doing this is because Alice and Bob, remember, they don't trust the communication channel that's been established between them. So on the internet, there's a lot of reasons not to trust the communication channel. For example, the communication requires that your packets tra be transmitted over a bunch of routers that you don't control. So if those routers are operated by powerful adversaries, maybe you consider the government to be an adversary, maybe it's the government of another country that you don't entirely trust. When, in whatever case, your data as it travels across the internet is in a position to be observed by many, many, many different parties. And this is one of the reasons why we perform encryption in the first place. We want to secure our transmissions from um, interference by others, and we also, it also reflects the fact that all of the transmissions between Alice and Bob have to flow across this public internet that consists of a lot of machines that they don't control and that they're not entirely sure that they trust. So again, symmetric key encryption uses a single key to both encrypt and decrypt messages before they are transmitted across an untrusted channel.